Hello students, in today's video, we will study what is diabetes mellitus and how abnormality in insulin secretion or insulin action causes diabetes mellitus. So now look at this chart. This is the structure of pancreas. Now beta cells of pancreatic islets in the pancreas secrete insulin. Insulin is a peptide hormone. Insulin is released in the blood. Now insulin reduces the levels of glucose in the blood. So now the question arises how insulin reduces levels of glucose in the blood. Now insulin stimulates uptake of this glucose in the blood by body cells. So glucose goes in the body cells and this reduces levels of glucose in the blood. Now in some instances functioning of beta cells reduces. So less insulin is produced but if beta cells are completely destroyed no insulin is produced. Now in addition to this certain risk factors like uh, obesity, physical inactivity, stress can cause insulin resistance. So due to insulin resistance cells of adipose tissue, muscles, liver progressively stop responding to insulin. So insulin resistance is lack of insulin action. Now as we all know after a meal concentration of glucose increases in the blood. Now in the presence of insulin this glucose is taken up by the body cells to produce energy. Now let's see what happens due to lack of insulin secretion or insulin action. Now these cells of adipose tissue, muscles are not able to take up glucose from the blood. So glucose produced from the food remains within the blood. Now in addition to this glycogen stored in the liver is also broken down to glucose. So liver also increases production of glucose. Thus glucose from the diet and glucose from the liver accumulates in the blood. Now this increased level of glucose in the blood is termed as hyperglycemia. Now hyper means excessive. Gly refers to glucose and emia is the blood. So glucose levels of glucose increase in the blood and that is termed as hyperglycemia. Now chronic long withstanding hyperglycemia results in a disease that is called as diabetes mellitus. Thus diabetes mellitus is a metabolic disorder characterized by hyperglycemia and it is caused due to lack of insulin secretion or insulin action that is insulin resistance. Now this chronic hyperglycemia is the main culprit. It causes short term complications and long term complications of diabetes mellitus. Now short term complications like for example increased susceptibility to infections because uh, for example bacteria thrives very well in high blood glucose. Now hyperglycemia also causes long term complications by damaging smaller and larger blood vessels. For example, damage to blood vessels supplying the tissues of eye can cause retinopathy. Thus, chronic hyperglycemia can cause retinopathy, neuropathy, nephropathy, then brain stroke, coronary artery diseases and many more complications. So, if diabetes is not controlled, it is sure to cause disability and it adversely affects quality of life. So this is how abnormality in insulin secretion or insulin resistance causes diabetes mellitus. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.